Wirecard shares, Vonnie, are once again sliding. Uh, on another Financial Times report, the two executives had at least some awareness of alleged accounting fraud. The company is once again pushing back aggressively, saying nothing about the article published today is true. We welcome now Bloomberg's Ed Robinson for more details on this. This is an incredible story. This is shaping up uh, to be really quite a titanic battle. We basically got the Financial Times, which has a copy of a report that was produced by a law firm that was mandated by Wirecard into accounting irregularity. And it's making a series of reports on this. Wirecard CEO is pushing back so aggressively, saying, yet yeah, we don't believe that legal report. This is an amazing scenario. Yeah, and just to be precise, it was a preliminary report right. that the FT was reporting on from this law firm that was hired by Wirecard. Yes, this is quite a drama. It's basically mano a mano this week. The market appears to believe the reports are true by, if you, by looking at the stock price so far, but uh, this battle seems like it's only beginning. We're, we're actually getting a headline right now that the Wirecard CFO is buying some shares, as is the COO. Is there anything that could stem an outflow out of the stock, Ed, unless Wirecard's C-suite executives can produce some kind of evidence pretty quickly to counter the Financial Times reporting? Yes. Well, I think that's what the market is waiting for, is any headlines coming out of the company that would bolster its categorical denials that this fraud took place. And one of the intriguing things, if you parse the FT reports on this so far, is looking at this difference between a preliminary report that it got a hold of and reported on and what the final report might be. Because it appears that the company is saying the final report justifies its position. So there's a lot of, I don't know, the, the waters are quite muddy still on, on what's happening here. The, the, reason, the reason why this is important, though, is that this is a, a company that is at the center of an incredibly growing, fast-growing industry. Payments used to be dull, now fascinating. Wirecard displaced Comets Bank in the, in the DAX. It is a massive company. I, that's why this is important. What does this tell us about kind of what is going on in the wider space here? Yeah, payments infrastructure and how fintechs are changing that is the hottest area in financial technology right now. Last year, we saw the IPO of Adyen, the Dutch payment process company. That's up 120% since June. Wirecard is the biggest fintech in Europe, displacing Commerce Bank and the DAX. Its market cap up until today was bigger than Deutsche Bank's. Investors are going to be looking at this as a bellwether of what's going to be happening with financial technology in the payment space, especially because it's so arcane. It's so difficult to understand the business models, to understand how they, they do their financial accounting. Uh, it's a very complicated business proposition. And if suddenly the message coming out is it's too hard to understand what's really going on, that's not good for anybody.